Hey guys, welcome to my 13th episode of my Quantum Conundrum Let's Play. Today we're going to be taking on the Red Wing of the mansion. It's just up here. Uh, here. Fortunately, or maybe unfortunately, you're heading closer to the new technologies lab. Perhaps you might come across some clues to help me piece together this quandary. Hmm, be good to know wh why he's trapped in wherever he is. Ah, yes. This is the last in a contiguous series of associated dimensions. As you can see, the gravitational pull in this dimension is directly in opposition to our customary one. Look out! Do you suppose that the gravitational bodies that influence this dimension are different? Or is the man, in fact, built upside down? Part of that. I vaguely remember an IDS receptacle mounted somewhere on the second story. You've certainly gotten rather adroit. Uh, hey, it's Ike. Okay, I believe button. that opened the hatch over there. Uh -huh. That's rather annoying. <laughs> I bet you wanted me to do that, huh? Mad scientist, crazy evil lab. There should be another drinking bird. I mean, periodic articulated brewy day in that room influencing this area. I believe that you'll have to wrap around this room to get through. It's a nice little detail, uh, the warm patches. On the floor, and where the safe so. Can I be perfectly Get honest back. here? I really have no idea why I set this area up. Yeah, I really have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, well let's go up here anyway. What? At this point, you have traveled further into the manor than any other family member has in the last two decades. I can't say that'll happen again anytime soon. If only there was something to press that for you. Bloody thing. As a rule, don't look directly into his eyes. Trust me.
Ah, Desmond R. Butler, Chief Button Coordinator. Some event must have occurred to cause me to be transported to this pocket dimension. If only I could remember what. My headache is getting a little better, although I still have a rather large lump on my skull. Oh, in case you don't see it, there's an electrical converter on the ceiling that needs to be pressed. So we have all the dimensions apart from heavy, which you probably won't need. I can't believe my memory hasn't returned yet. What's up there? Oh, damn it. Probably easier if I just move the safe in front of the door. Let's try that again. Ooh, that's weird. What the fuck does? Okay, he freaks out really weirdly. Just um. What the hell? Why exactly do I need to slow damage? Unless I have something to throw in? Perhaps. Yeah, that doesn't seem right. Okay, let's try jumping off before the door. Let's try that again. Try jumping off before the door fully opens. Oh, I could have done that. No. Damn you. Ah. Okay, go up. Oh, uh, see, so yeah, that hurts me and like runs off. Okay, we'll get it this time, we'll get it this time. Ha <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
I'm not sure you're aware, but breaking things is bad. Sometimes I get the strangest feelings that they might be sentient. I engineered a completely seedless strawberry once. I hated getting the seeds stuck between my teeth. I could really go for a strawberry right now. Not that I would eat one that I'd find in here. It would most likely be covered in something fuzzy, like you'd find in a pocket. Well, that concludes episode 13. Uh, see you next episode. Bye, guys.